All right, y'all. Native Pro Staff, Lou Martinez here. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of my boat. Hopefully, I can go through this quick because I've got a lot of stuff on here. But um, I'm here pre-fishing for Rocky Gorge. It's a, just a beautiful lake. But let's get to it and let me get you over here. All right. Like I said, I'm going to go through this really quick. I've got my net up here. This is where I keep it. Um, I get hooks in it up here when I try to lay rods down, but it, it's really quick and accessible, and that's why I keep it there uh, along with my regulation link hog trough. Uh, <clears throat> moving on, you can see that I've got an Ion Air Pro to help me get those netting shots. I've got another Ion Air Pro, which helps get those kind of forward shots. Um, moving down, got the Lowrance HDI 5. I really like it. Uh, Elite HDI, 5 HDI. Um, it, it's a good system. It serves all my needs and definitely can't complain. Got the RAM, RAM mounts. Pretty much everything on here is a RAM mount for the most part. Um, <clears throat> still got the NRS Chinook. I'm going to be using, keep keeping with that one. I really like that as a PFD. Um, the seat. The seat's where I did a lot of upgrading this year. As you can see right here, I've got my behind the seat tackle storage by Native. That is an awesome product, guys. And if you have, you know, you want to just have quick access to, to all kinds of tackle, I mean, look at that. I've got 20, 20 plus small square bills in there. And, you know, moving back to the front of the seat over here, you can see that I've got the other one as well. I've got the under seat storage and tackle. Um, that's, you can, I've got all my rattle traps right there. This is where I keep a lot of my hard baits. You can see that I can stuff, uh, have access to plastics there really quick and easily. You can you can put a few more things in there, like identifiers can go inside of there. It's a uh, it's a really great product, and, I, and I'm super I'm super excited that I got it. So <clears throat> moving down, I've already talked about the one on the back of the seat. Got my frogs on the other side. This is just a bag that I picked up at. Marshalls for like 10 bucks. Um, this is my battery box, like a six dollar box that I picked up at Bass Pro. Works pretty pretty well. I can stuff all my cameras in there and and keep them out of harm's way while transporting. You got my VIO, which is responsible for getting the footage from behind me. I like it because of the looping function and the battery it runs all day. It's uh, secured with an X grip. Never had any problems with that. It's directly mounted to my boondocks landing gear. If you haven't seen some of my videos on that, go ahead and check that out. Awesome product. I stand by it 100% that if you get it, you will be happy hands down. So you got the Yak Attack boom stick. And my camera head is actually secured with a tough claw. Uh, those are one inch balls right there. Um, because this is so tall and long, it, it gets kind of wobbly, so I've got a, an arm that comes off of here and off of my crate. It's just a $18 crate that I bought at Walmart and started outfitting, and, and I really like it that it's covered, so that's why I roll that one. But that, that arm actually helps to stabilize that. And so you can see that I've got all my rods back here as well. Uh, I'm rolling mostly ducats. Actually, take that back. I'm rolling all ducats except for my spinning tackle. My spinning tackle is Smalley Sticks. Uh, I just really love the awesome work that Jim does at, at Smalley Sticks. So if you hadn't checked them out, go check them out. Um, got the Boondocks rudder on there. Uh, like I said, awesome product. Don't ever tighten that down too much. Any of these upgraded rudders, do not tighten them down all the way. Uh, let me say that again. Do not tighten them down all the way. A lot of people snap rudders, and I think that's one of the biggest problems is that people tighten those down all the way. So it really does make them hard. But, guys, that's uh, that's my native Watercraft Slayer Propel 13 uh, outfitted for the 2016 season. And, uh, man, just having, I'm having a blast taking this thing all over the country and, and fishing. So, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit like and Y'all have a good one.